Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angelica Fitzgerald, if you are new, and if you are not new, welcome back. So today's video is gonna be interesting. We'll see how we get through this because currently our upstairs neighbors are moving out, much like us in a week actually, and they're having the floor ripped out. And today I'm filming like a ton of videos because I won't have my studio set up for a little bit since my husband and I are moving and needless to say it's loud I hear banging it's like they took on tap dancing plumbing woodworking everything that's noisy is happening right above me so I apologize if it gets really bad there might be quite a few cuts in this video because that means they started drilling. Um, and I want you guys to clearly be able to hear me and not have that be really distracting. So I apologize in advance. It's kind of a hot mess around here. Even our own apartment is like a mini explosion because we're moving. So you guys get it. Moving is never pretty. So anyways, let's get right into this video. As you can tell from the title of this video, we are working with Eva NYC. Now I have never tried their products before, but they just released a new line of hair care. So I thought it's new. Let me get it. Let me test it. And I've also never used it. Well, I've used it now, but prior to me buying this, I had never used it before. So as y'all can kind of tell, my hair is a little bit damp. A little bit wet still because I just used these products and I use the products we are talking about today in the shower so the two products we're gonna be working with are their lazy Jane air dry shampoo and conditioner so these two guys I'm really excited to share my thoughts uh, because literally a half an hour ago I used them I've been using them for a couple of days now to see how they're gonna work you know with consistent use if the results are instant if they get better with consistent use all that good stuff and uh, basically I just took a shower did my makeup and now we're here so if you're ready to find out how I like these products make sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below to keep up with my future videos I review all sorts of awesome stuff and I would love for you to join in on my future videos so if you're ready let's talk about these hair products Alrighty guys, so as I mentioned a minute ago, my hair is fresh out of the shower. No blow dry, no product, no straightening, no nothing. Like this is straight air dry because I wanted to show y'all what my hair looked like with nothing done to it because that's what these products are for. Like I said, they are called the Lazy Jane Air Dry Shampoo and Conditioner. So you're supposed to use these and supposedly not have to style your hair when you get out of the shower because it's going to enhance and lock in your hair's natural look and uh, make it look pretty. So I have been using these products for four days exactly, which I feel like it's a that's a good amount of time to get a good grip and a good feeling of a product. I mean, honestly, I think shampoos and conditioners should almost be like a noticeable difference after one use, but four days, plenty of time. So would I say that these products do exactly what they claim to do on the bottles and on the website, which is to make your hair look fabulous without using anything else? I'll answer that in a couple minutes, but I want to go ahead and talk about the product real fast, cost, what's inside, basically what makes them worth it slash not worth it um, for your purchase. So first of all, these products are $12 each, which is insanely amazing. Both of these products are 8.5 fluid ounces, great amount of product. This will probably last you if you're, you know, not super generous with it and you just use a normal amount, a month and a half to two months, which for $12, even if they only lasted you a month, for $12 is fantastic. Secondly, the scent of these products is awesome. Like. Oh, fills the shower up with a amazing smell. It just smells clean and fresh. Thirdly, the ingredients inside of this are fantastic. It has no sulfates, it has no parabens, it's vegan and it's cruelty free. It's really, really clean hair care. Um, it also does have a touch of hemp seed oil inside of it. So all in all, this product is really good for your hair. Another thing this claims to do is add texture, add body, and thicken your hair. So. There's a lot of things about this shampoo and conditioner that kind of makes it sound like 
the miracle shampoo and conditioner. Um, and now let's just get into how it works. So if you've been with me for a while, especially through my hair care product reviews, you know normally I would test out the product, but before I come on here, I would straighten my bangs and maybe just blow dry my hair because I want my hair to be dry. But specifically since this product claims to have a natural nice air dry, I didn't want to style my hair because that defeats the purpose of if it looks good air dried. Now, I always mention in my hair videos the reason I straighten my bangs. Now, I don't go crazy with a straightener, but right along my forehead, I get mad curly hair and I don't like it. It doesn't match the rest of my hair. The rest of my hair is really straight and for some reason right along my forehead, it's curly. I don't know. <laughs> but this product did smooth that out a lot. Now, will I say there's still a wave there? You can see, absolutely there is. Um, there is quite a wave right here. You can see right there, there's a little wave in my hair. It's It's got like its natural, like right there, it's got a little dented wave right there. It's got its natural look to it where I naturally would have curlies right there. But this is not curly by any means. Some of y'all are probably looking at my hair thinking, where are the curls? Like, or where are the waves? Her hair all looks straight to me. So this product did a pretty banging job at really smoothing out the unwanted stuff that I always fix because it comes with my natural hair that I would really never wear out or I would fix before I go out. So would I say that this product really does make your hair look nice air dried? Absolutely. Now I don't have curly hair. So that is something I can't vouch for. If you naturally have super duper curly hair and it might tend to look frizzy, I don't know if this would make your hair not look frizzy because I, like I said, have naturally straight hair. But I will say for $12, it's almost worth trying this product because it pretty much works. I've never had my hairs around my face smooth. Ever. So that is really what I was pretty much gonna base this product off of was in areas around my scalp where my hair just does the thing that I don't like, um, it fixed it. Please hold. All right, they have stopped banging on the floor for a minute. Um, back to what I was saying. So if you do have little curly cues or like little baby frizzies that you want to be smoothed out or that you want to just be like a nice pretty curl, not like a little frizzy ringlet type of curl that, you know, that's literally what I get up here. I would totally suggest these products. Now in terms of adding texture, body and thickness to your hair, not sure it really does that. I know my hair is still damp right now, but like I said, I've used this for four days. So I have had dry hair in the past four days um, and I have not styled it and I have really let this product work its magic on its own with no help, with no assistant of another product or a heating styling tool. I wouldn't say it really adds body to the hair. I wouldn't say it changed the texture to my hair at all. And I wouldn't really say it thickens my hair. So those claims, I think it could do without, honestly. But in terms of it doing its main job, which is to look pretty naturally air dried, I think they hit the nail on the head. And again, for $12, hit the nail on the head. So I really just wanted to share my experience with these products so far because I'm very happy with it. If you're somebody that does not like to style your hair and you just kind of want to run out of the shower, but you wish sometimes, oh, I wish I didn't have like a little frizzy top of my head or something. I think these products would totally work for you. Um, the packaging on them is freaking adorable. They hopped on that tie-dye trend faster than COVID even came. So <laughs> they have other products that are like pink tie-dye and orange tie-dye. And it's a really pretty collection of products. They all are very beautiful. It looks great in the shower. The bottle, it's a basic bottle, but it's just easy. Like sometimes don't try and fix it if it's not broken. It's just a simple, easy to use product. I reviewed a hair product a couple weeks ago that the packaging was so fancy and I, it, like my finger cramped in the shower trying to get the product out. This is just easy, which I feel like I shouldn't have to talk about how hard a product is to push out of the bottle, but I do now with how challenging I've seen some other bottles are. These are just easy products to use and they really work. They did the job. Like I'm gonna continue to use these. I'm gonna buy some other Eva NYC products and see how well I like them as well because when a product is just simple, it's priced very fairly and it does the job. 
I'm all for it. I love a brand that just does the job that it's supposed to do. And you'd think that would be like a given, but not all brands do that. So highly suggest these products. If you're looking for texturizing and body and volume, not sure these are the products for you. I think they, I don't know, kind of just added that in because it might have done that for a few people. Didn't really do so for me. Hey, it might work for you in that sense. It's definitely worth the try. So I'm gonna link both of these products down below for you guys to check out. But all in all, I have nothing but really good things to say. Eva NYC, totally Angelica approved. Hit the nail on the head with what this brand is supposed to do. And I'm really excited to continue using these and trying new Eva NYC products. So other than that, guys, I hope this was a helpful video if you were on the fence of maybe looking into these products. And I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see y'all in my next video. <laughs> Bye.